I'm Philip Russell and today I've been working on a painting called Renewal and it's due to the devastating bushfires we had in the area here from Buxton to Hilltop. Um, I need it so today I want to develop different areas. I like to get this area here fixed up, that area in there which I think is interesting and this area down here. So I want to get those areas working. But before I discuss that painting, I want to talk about this painting. I went to a particular part of the country, which is Hilltop in the Southern Highlands, where I could see some of the green shoots of nature coming back into the landscape. So I did a lot of drawings and I took them back and I made a painting. This is a finished work, which I completed. And as you can see, I worked out certain areas of design and certain areas of colour which I want to use in the bigger painting. But that's the way I always start. I always like to put my ideas, my design down on a smaller painting to begin with because then it allows me to do a much bigger work. So with that I'll just put this over here and I'll concentrate on my larger painting. So I always put an underpaint on the canvas a very washy ochre, it could be any colour, that gets rid of the white because I don't want to be blinded by the white canvas. It uh, distracts me having that white canvas, I've never liked it. So I'm going to put some light colours in here first just to give me some sort of direction where I can work out what's going on here. Now I'll just get some of this uh, yellow ochre in here. Some nice lights going in here, which I think is quite nice. Just do that. Stand back, see where I'm going. I want to get some of this nice grey in here. Just up there with some of those rocks. And I'll extend it over here a bit more. Now I'll just get some yellow ochre into here. It's a matter of try and get so many things happening in your canvas at once so, you, so you've so you got plenty of areas to improve on later on so you can get the majority of what you want down fairly quickly. I've always been taught to paint like this. It's called from rough to smooth. So you keep it in its embryonic stage as much as possible. You don't try and resolve too quickly because then you usually when you try and resolve things too quickly you've got to go back and and find out why it's not working but I want to leave certain things too um, so oh, what's the brush show you I want to do some linkages what I mean by linkages I want to link these particular sentinel, I suppose, like these stumps which have been left and devastated by the bushfire, I think they're important. And they, and they link up to, they can link up and form a nice pattern of design. And yeah, they look good, I like them. Shadows can create beautiful shapes they don't necessarily have to be shadows, but they, but they lend to creating nice shapes in the landscape. Um, next thing I want to do is to get this bottom part working down around here, where I've got some of this greenery coming through here. So you can see that the, the bush is going to recover eventually back again, because what this bushfire creates it, it creates it takes away all the little shrubs and all the vegetation so what you have is a, is a naked landscape so to speak I want this nice shadow this nice bit of purple here I can get it to go across that in there. 
into the landscape like that. And I can add this bit of lovely bit of grey just down here, which is, works nice. I love that bit of grey. Grey tends to bind things together, which is what I like. That's it. The problem with the landscape, it can get a little bit busy, so you've got to decide where the areas you want it to be busy and where the areas you don't want it to be busy. Uh, I bring that in there because I've got this lovely bit of shadow going across the road, but I also like to break up this area here because I think it, it needs to be broken up a bit because I don't want it to be too dominant. Um, yeah, I like the way it's working at the moment. I like purple a lot, as you can see. I, I've got a very, very warm eye, so I tend to use a lot of warm colours. So as an artist, you've got to balance this out. You've got to make sure you use you get a bit of a balance there because you can't have everything too warm. It's a psychological thing, I think. I don't know whether anybody's worked it out why it is such. <laughs> As you can see, I've got a lovely little pathway which winds its way up through the landscape. I always like to do things like that because it leads your eye into the painting, but you sort of try and discover other things while you're doing it. I always like to separate different areas, and, but I don't want them to make them too distinct. So. At the moment it's a little bit patchy, patchworky, but that's okay because then I can start sort of looking at which areas I want to completely pull together. Even though I've drawn it, I've walked over it, everything else, you've got to feel the spirit of the landscape and how, how it can regenerate itself. It can go into renewal after the horrible bushfires that have dis destroyed a lot of the vegetation. But you see the eucalypts coming back, you see the green shoots appearing. And that's a beautiful thing to see, that hope coming back into the landscape again. So I can always look at the little painting, the smaller one I'd painted before. As a, I can look at it as a little reference and see that it's probably got something in there that I haven't put in the larger one. So I keep sort of getting my eye to overlook the little one. And I think, oh yeah, that's okay. Right, this, this limb here, I've got it, I, I put it across in this diagonal, but this angle because it creates a certain tension, but I like the idea it could be falling, like next week it might have fallen over down here somewhere. It adds a little bit of drama, you could say, probably. I like drawing with this little brush here. I can little round brush, I can get some nice things. With the square brush, it helps you to get the nice edges. You can just square off a piece of work just like that. You can get a nice edge to things, like I've got an edge here, edge there. But then you want to have a round brush to do your drawing. And I always make sure I got both at operating at the same time. I want to thin this line here, this shape of this tree, so it's easy with a square brush. So I can come right up to the edge of that and just do this and just pull it back like that. Just pull it down to where I want it and make sure I've got an edge there and an edge here. So that gives me more or less what I want. And then I can blend it if I want to with my finger. I use my finger sometimes just to blend things in a bit. 
Look at that. So, yeah. Now, the only other thing I've got to work on is here. I've got to get this figured out here. This is not... It's a little bit monotonous, so I've got to think of something I can do with it. If something's troubling you, it's always best to break up an area and try something and see what happens. I'll get some... Uh, put some more of the burnt saplings in there. I'll just put one in here because that just gives that area. See, I'm drawing it in with the round brush now. So I can twirl it around my fingers and just get a, a nice sort of shape like that. Yeah, that, that works out better now. And I can put a bit more of that shadow in here. The only trouble is I'm losing my light now. <laughs> this is a problem, but I have to work within it. I want to get some of that white in there because I think it's important. That's it. That defines it a bit more. Okay. All right, that's good. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Because there's, there's a little bit more to do, but it's not a lot. I've got a lot of it in now, which is good. Um, but I'll explain one thing, but um, this, this, the drawing up here where I've left this line in, I wanted to keep that beautiful line there, that black line that sort of weaves its way down here, because I want to show how the fire is burnt into it, but yet I've left nice bit of underpaint there as the life form and it can this this lovely gum can regenerate again because there will be green shoots happening and it will regenerate mm.